आसम वेलकम टू डे फोर ऑफ स्टोरी स्पार्क सीरीज दिस इज अगेन अ स्मॉल फिफ्टीन मिनट एंड टूडेज चैलेंज टूडेज सीरीज इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू डिग स्टोरीज फ्रॉम योर ओन वेरी पर्सनल थिंग वी ऑल हैव दिस डिवाइस दैट वी कॉन्ट लिव विदाउट येस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर फोन and today we are going to use this device to do something called story digging so i'm going to give you an example and then we'll have uh, one minute of silence for you to actually dig into the your story morning tane good to have you here good morning yeah so we are doing this today we are doing exercise where we are going to do a story digging out of this device that we are all can't live without and the exercise is we are going to go into the photo gallery of our phone and specifically to the camera folder because we all keep taking pictures and i want you to take and pick one of the photos you took recently and share a story about that so i'm going to start by myself sharing of photo and then telling a story behind and once i'm done i'll give you one or two minute for everyone to think browse through the photos and then share the stories so i've got one of the photos here i'm going to share so i hope you'll be able to see it's a rangoli made by my daughter and the story is it is this interesting that how sometime we underestimate our own people so this is the story one day before the diwali my daughter has got this full uh, colors in the form of powder and she is very insisting that okay i want to make a rangoli i want to make a rangoli but we thought she is just a kid uh, so my wife who is busy doing the house chores and i am doing something else we said okay hold on we'll come with you we'll teach you how to do and we just leave her with the color and powders and we go into kitchen and my own office room and then 10 minutes back 10 minutes afterwards we come back and we see this beautiful rangolis prepared by her it was to our utter surprise that she already knew how to do it was we who were underestimating her talent and this gives me this point that sometime we underestimate our own people and we need to give them more creative liberty more opportunities for them to practice what they already have so that's a beautiful story that's a story this is the picture taken by myself i'll show the picture again and now it's time for you to think about your go to your phone browse to one of your pictures and uh, we'll have 2 minutes i'll play the music so go ahead and when you are presenting the picture think about what is the background of the story what, how did it proceed and what is the take away out of that story so let me share the music and go through your picture gallery
all right i think we have done a minute so let's start with person who is on the video so tane have you found a picture and do you want to share the story no i have found the picture but i was not not able to share it but okay uh, let me describe this picture and then i will show it after no problem no problem uh, um, okay so this picture is is of my daughter with with the with the cousin sister of diwali so they mm. all are sitting on a on a toy train okay and this is this is picture is from my uh, village uh, where uh, where i was on diwali so uh, the their cousin sister uh, is written from germany uh, means at the age of say 3 she went there mm-hmm. was not germany switzerland okay. okay and for 5 years she lived there and because of the visa issue uh, they they came back and now she is studying in a village school mm. and she was studying in german now she is studying in english or hindi and also subject and everything has changed from from switzerland to a village school is a there's a big dis- difference okay but she is happy she has adapted to the to the environment Mm. and now she is like learning hindi and like mingling with the, with local kids and she is she is not at all like fuzzy or anything um and this shows the adaptability of a human nature absolutely very very well and I, and you can try sharing the screen now if i have enabled it for the members so see if you are able to otherwise we will proceed to Someone else. Just give me. I didn't understand the exercise today because I was on and off the screen. Okay, I'll I'll tell you the exercise. So the exercise was to to browse the phone gallery and specifically to the folder where you have taken a picture, and then describe it in the form of a story. So how I describe it, I I took a picture of a rangoli weighed by my daughter. and the story goes that sometime we underestimate the power of our own people uh, so we thought that she is too young to make a rangoli and we need to instruct her but within few minutes uh, even when we were away doing something else she prepared the beautiful uh, rangolis so that's a reminder for us to uh, have trust in our own people and do not underestimate so this is the picture i'll show you so this is the picture of rangoli she made on the balcony right so that's uh, one example so you can also look into your phone and see if you have a photo taken by yourself and how would you like to describe that that's the challenge for today okay okay all right so, so yes i have okay okay we'll show we'll show, show. Do we have to show the picture? It's better to show when we get the context, okay. but it's not the only. Okay. Let me show. If you can see this, please. Oh, it's not. We can. We can. Yeah. Yeah. We can see them. You do. Thank you for sharing that story. Power to you. S P T Y. Okay. Alka ji, do you have a picture? To- share a story i have like i have taken a thousand pictures yesterday because i am in 3 days in the conference so pictures and pictures and pictures only are there uh, but you have to have a picture with a story okay let's go to rajesh while you try to figure yes. out so. i'm sh- uh, showing okay sharing the okay first let me share it sure then I don't know. I would be able to do it or not. Okay. So if you are on phone, you should be able to click on the share button. Ah uh, no no yes I am able to click. I am just getting photo now. Okay okay. okay no problem. So I got the picture. So now I have to share it with you. How do I share? It? Is it visible? Yes, we can see that. Yep. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now I need to unshare, right? 
you can you can continue talking. Uh, yes. hmm. tell us the story yeah okay the story behind this is this is a picture uh, clicked by me on my birthday i was sitting at office like after this celebration was over and i was at my desk and uh, as i have decided to uh, like quit my job this year i got emotional like this is my last birthday which i am celebrating with my colleagues my boss and in the office and i was just uh, sitting quiet over there uh, for like maybe for 5 uh, minutes and uh, i thought like i was just getting emotional yeah. uh, that life has so many colors sometimes you take a hard decision but on the second moment you become emotional for some or the other thing and yeah. i was just sitting over there and i clicked this photograph it's a selfie i took along with all those gifts and uh, on my station and there was uh, what was behind in my thing these are the moment which i'm capturing so uh, on my birthdays when whenever i'll remember people and whenever i'll remember my office this will be the picture which will uh, reflect their love their care for me so mm. that uh, that was the uh, like uh, mentality behind that picture when i clicked and people were uh, just my colleagues who were sitting over there they were just laughing what are you doing we had so many pictures now and still we are taking picture and uh, then i shared with them yes this picture this uh, photograph will always uh, remind me about your care and love which you have shown for me so human human is uh, is a creature who is always full of emotions and we wanted to carry uh we wanted to have everything with them right yes. so that is the story that be emotional um, uh, with the things but yes we have to keep moving ahead with the uh, with that care love just move ahead in the life awesome that's amazing beautiful story with amazing pictures so story power to you and let's go to now dr alka Can you see the picture? Yes. So it's about food. Actually, nothing brings people together like good food. So we yeah. were actually we were just uh, in the conference, and this place is go. It's golf wines, golf times, and golf wines and golf campus in uh, Bangalore, and the campus is very beautiful. So one of the wall paintings was written like this. The story is that uh, when we were children, my mum. Our family either we were going out to somebody else's house on the weekend to eat food, or somebody else was coming to my house to eat food. And uh, my mom, she had this habit that she'll start preparing her lunch and her dinner preparation from Monday to Saturday or to Friday. And Saturday, Sunday we have um, we have our uh, people coming over. So when she'll be she'll be peeling the uh, peas. and she'll be soaking the chana she'll be doing all kinds of preparations and she'll be asking i'm going to make this i'm going to make that so the story which comes to me is that uh, my friend was coming to my house a few days back and i told my daughter in law i want to make chana and bhatura for her she likes it very much and she said mummy why are you wasting your time why don't you call swiggy and zomato <laughs> so <laughs> today is a world of swiggy and zomato and the process is lost the message that i want to give is when you are in the process of doing certain things in your life you are immersed in that process and that process gives you momentum it gives you movement it gives you happiness and at that time i want to say that our parents they were so happy our families were so happy we were not um, we were doing the things which we wanted to which give us happiness and pleasure and when by serving food to other people by meeting the people we become together and togetherness is magical this is what i wanted to share thank you amazing amazing excellent story and story power to you so for those who are going to watch this recording here is the challenge for you as well go look into your phone your camera folder find a picture share the picture along with the story and we all think that we need to take external stories when you are presenting when you are sharing if you use these pictures with your story it is going to be 100% more powerful than taking a random picture on internet and posting so go ahead and do that that was day 
of story park session see you tomorrow as i say every time keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone see you for day 5 story power to you thank, thank you so much